Welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel and the 31 Day Aircraft Build Challenge. I am challenging you, hoping to motivate and inspire you to give your aviation project a kick in the butt and get going for 2020. Thank you to our channel sponsors, Wix Aircraft Supply, Aviation Youth Publication, and Aero Adventure Amphibious Seaplanes. I don't know, is Die Hard the all-time greatest Christmas movie? Hey guys and gal, welcome to the 31 Day Build Challenge, where I challenge you to get going on your project, your aircraft project, and if you haven't chosen one, if you haven't started one, to choose one and get started now. Uh, through these few videos uh, in December, I hope to motivate and inspire you guys uh, to get just a jump start for your projects for, your, for 2020 and let your New Year's resolution begin now. So just to give you a quick update on what I've done um, since yesterday, I dropped off the, uh, the weldments for a powder coating. I wasn't able to do that the other day because the guy wasn't available, so I did drop those off this morning and I should have them back within a week or two. I'm doing silver for the cabin frame, uh, center Y stick and pedals. Basically anything that is visible is gonna be like a metallic silver, which will it'll look a little bit like aluminum. And then everything else that's not quite visible is gonna be black, which black looks really good. I just wanna do something a little bit different than just the typical black. So, and let me show you what I've done around the shop. All right, so I decided to go ahead and open up this uh, beam that goes across here. So I have access to the back side of this. I went ahead and torqued these to about 22 inch pounds. I made sure I had it clecoed very well in multiple places and multiple places across here so that it would not move. Make sure it didn't lose any hole locations uh, after I located and drilled the holes. So two more bolts and then back together. I always feel like the reward is when it's time to rivet. Hey, so just real quick, a trick I think I just found for pushing those hard to push in rivets, taking Clico pliers, and the part that you normally push on the Clico over the rivet and just kind of wiggle it. Of course, I'm not having another hand to hold right now. And voila. Not sure if you guys have one of these things, but uh, it's great to have. <laughs> just to collect all the droppings. All right, the riveting for this is done. So I'm gonna throw it back on top of the uh, fuselage. All right, and it is mostly installed. All that riveting is done. The bolts are in, it's in place. So that's what I've been working on tonight. And then the top is ready to be riveted next. So that'll be the next thing, I rivet all those guys. And the whole thing all the way down there. Another quick shot of the uh, another quick shot of the goal board, if you will, the dry erase board. If you guys haven't done this already, go ahead and uh, make your your dream, your goal, a reality by writing that on the board. Uh, what else? You guys have done such a great job of of showing your shop. I figured I'd do a quick quick pan around my shop, get an idea of what I have to work with here. And it's not exactly clean because Christmas is coming and there's all kinds of Christmas stuff out, but there's a quick tour of the workshop. This area I built, I built this bench specifically at a certain height and uh, width and so forth, basically just to review plans and take notes and have the lighting there accordingly. So I just walk up the table at any moment and look at the plans and dedicate that just for that and to hold some some tools for working with metal and so forth. The build table is the build table, of course, which is 12 feet long by four feet wide. Lots of room to uh, build on, obviously. This will be plenty of room to uh, build the wings on, which are roughly 11 and a half feet. And as you can see, the fuselage will stick over that. Now, this is just the rear section. And once I get the forward fuselage built, this will go significantly beyond uh, the build table. and then I plan to move that 
uh, off of that onto some um, sawhorses. All right, so the, this other bench I have specifically, more specific for an actual workbench with a bandsaw, the belt sander and drill press, and then several other uh, power tools on the shelves below. So it's kind of organized that way and hang, hang a light directly over that uh, for a work light. And then I've got a mobile work table that I built, uh, I don't know, a month or two ago. I got a stainless steel um, top that was basically scrap. I bought it for 40 cents a pound. <laughs> and it just, I guess it was designed as a table and they just scrapped it. So I already had holes in it to, uh, you know, screw it down. And it works, works pretty good. It's, it's about a, I don't know, 25 pound sheet metal stainless steel and it's got wheels so I can move it around the shop. You do not need this many tables or workbenches. Uh, just I finally got into a shop that I've got some space and I want to have plenty of room and options to be able to move around at will. All right, then as far as toolboxes, I have two toolboxes. Um, not just because I like to have toolboxes, but this first one, the red one, I've had literally since I was like 16 years old. Yes, it's actually that old. I'm 42, and it's a Husky. Um, not that I was shopping for a brand. That was a gift from my folks years and years ago. Uh, but then I ended up deciding to get more. Uh, I, had, I needed something for work uh, a couple years ago, so I bought this one, which I actually got on sale for $550 delivered. And it's really, really, really nice for the money. Um, these roll out really nicely. They come with... The, uh, the padding already in, uh, it's actually, it, it's in a package, you have to lay it out, but they're already cut to size, so the drawer liners are already there, and uh, went ahead and organized it, for the most part, like a proper toolbox should be, that's my junk, everybody has a junk drawer, right, this is my junk drawer, anyway, you guys are shopping for a toolbox and this is dedicated for aviation um, yeah this is my dedicated aviation toolbox and this is more of like the odd and end um, other non-aviation tools except for my metalworking file drawer and metalworking tools which we can go over a list of tools for scratch building later if you guys like maybe I'll I'll put together a good list for that, but that's mainly for, for sheet metal work right there. Okay, I want to give a, just a quick quick shout out to Chris Hollenbach. Holla, Hollenbach, 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 did I got that right? Uh, one of the newest, well, we're all new members to the group that I just started, right? Uh, anyway, he posted uh, something uh, a few hours ago or, or this morning um, about paper airplanes, which I thought was hilarious he's not at a stage where he can build right now so so Chris here's here's my attempt real quick at this is paper I'm used to working with aluminum you know I I prefer aluminum or steel just one, one second because you know composite material just doesn't but all right Chris you win no, but seriously, we may, I may announce a paper airplane challenge here next within, within December. That might be fun. Maybe something we can do on Sunday on let's do it live. How about we do a live? That's a good idea. Let's do that, Chris. Anyway, if you guys are just joining us, uh, just a real quick disclaimer, if you will. These are not my typical videos or format for videos. This is just my 31 day build challenge for the month of December to again, uh, get everybody jump start on their projects. Um, you can join me typically on Saturday nights where I post videos of interview, interviews with builders and manufacturers of experimental light sport and ultralight aviation. We have started a new group and it's growing. So it's Experimental Aircraft Channel Group. I invite you right now if you have any interest whatsoever in building an aircraft or at least learning from those who are currently building, head over to Facebook. Oh, hit the like and follow button on the page for Experimental Aircraft Channel. Then there's a, a button for the group. Join the group. We've got about 240 people just in the last couple days that have joined. 
Um, and we've got about only 20 postings so far. So I invite you guys that are watching and have joined, don't be afraid. Get out your camera, get out your cell phone, do some video, show us your shop, and, and get involved. There's 240 of you and 20 of you have posted, so join in. Join in on the fun. Okay, I also wanted to give you guys uh, another quick little tip on uh, motivation, on getting started. Sometimes what I'll do, especially after sitting at the desk for hours at a time, editing videos like this, you know, your heart's bumping like boom, 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 boom. Anyway, you get the point. You need to kind of jump start. So what I'll do sometimes, and if I'm talking too fast, I'm sorry, I've had some Christmas cookies already tonight, so that might be a little bit too much sugar for me. But sometimes what I'll do is I'll just go outside and go for a quick run or run around the house or something like that. Or maybe I'll even put on some good loud music. Gosh, I love that song. All right, but seriously, uh, regarding your project, you really do need to celebrate the small victories, the small wins of getting stuff done. This is such a, a huge project, a huge investment in time. Uh, just the little things like what I got done today, like what I just got done getting all that riveted and back up in place installed is a, is a huge, more, more or less like a milestone. And you have to celebrate these little wins. Pat yourself on the back because, I mean, hey, you're building an airplane, right? you've got something done for the long term, for the long haul, towards your goal of getting this thing flying. All right, so celebrate the small victories. So if you've been following along and have subscribed, I wanna say thank you very much. I appreciate you supporting me. If you're brand new here, I invite you right now to subscribe. Hit the like button on this video and the little bell notification for future videos. Head on over to Facebook, hit the like and follow button on the page. Hit the group, the uh, join group button. Join the group, get involved. I wanna see some of your videos being posted. Show me your shop, show me your garage, show me what it is that you're working on and share that with the group. I promise you, you're gonna have some people very excited to be learning about what you're doing and comment back. And I want this group to be very interactive and very supportive because I really do wanna see a bunch of you getting this stuff done in 2020. I'll see you guys in the next videos. Remember, just build it, but build it right now, right here in December. Get it done. Just build it.